Well, tonight an NFL quarterback is out of a job. Javon Boykin kicked off the Seattle Seahawks for alleged violence here in North Texas. The former TCU quarterback was cut from the Seahawks just two hours after. News 8 posted an exclusive interview with his girlfriend. She says Boykin choked her until she blacked out, putting her in the hospital for days. Through a broken jaw and her mouth wired shut, she shared her story only with News 8's Kevin Reese. This is Shabrika Bailey, her jaw broken in three places, swollen and wired shut, so she may be difficult to understand. It just can't keep going on. He, he just can't get away with this, period. But she hopes you and her alleged attacker hear every word. This is serious. This is domestic violence. She says it happened late Tuesday night at Boykin's home in Mansfield, that the boyfriend she's known since high school became upset when she wouldn't let him look at a text on her phone. He goes into a choke. And I'm just choking me and I'm trying to calm him down and I just couldn't and I just and I just woke up in a puddle of blood on the kitchen floor. My whole right side was full of blood on the kitchen floor. She says hours later, after Boykin took her to his bathtub to clean up the blood, he drove her 30 miles to a hospital near her home, Dallas Regional in Mesquite. There, she says he became nervous when hospital staff and security started asking questions. And from there, I heard that he fled the scene. He left you at the hospital? He left me at the hospital. So he didn't stay with you? Didn't stay. Later that day, with trouble breathing from swelling in her neck and airway, she was airlifted to Parkland Hospital in Dallas, where she stayed for three days. And while in the hospital, she received these text messages, she says, are from Boykin, where he suggests she tell everyone it was an accident, that either she fell or she had a fight with a female. We don't need another problem. He's saying basically, since we've already been in the case, we don't need nothing else. And of course, his football career is on the line. That's his main goal. Just my football career is on the line. Within an hour of our report this morning, just after we watched as Mansfield police detectives arrived at Bailey's home, the Seattle Seahawks cut Boykin from the team. It's his third run in with police, an incident in San Antonio in 2016 where he punched a police officer, and this month last year outside a nightclub in Dallas. He was the passenger in Bailey's car when she backed into a nightclub and hit several pedestrians. They were both charged with public intoxication, Boykin with marijuana possession. But now Bailey says she crashed because Boykin was choking her on that night too. Um, why didn't you say that a year ago? I was just scared, terrified. And yes, I know I'm probably just dumb and shouldn't have did it the first time, but this time you would have killed me like completely. Mansfield police confirmed they're investigating Boykin for aggravated assault. As for his former girlfriend with a broken jaw and missing teeth, she says she will not cover for him or his career anymore. What do you want to have happen now to him? What do you think is the right thing? Something just has to just, you can't keep doing this and it's not cool to constantly like make me the victim. And you get away with it. In Mesquite, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News. Trevon Boykin denies any allegations of abuse. In a statement, he tells News 8, I want to be clear that the story is false. The police have taken statements from the accuser, another witness, and me. All of these statements confirm that I was not involved in a physical altercation. This woman lied about me, and it has cost me my job. This, of course, is not a